Well, thank you very much for your interest in coming to Memorial University on Exchange. Uh, we at the Internationalization Office are going to be very happy to host you here for the one, two, or three semesters that you choose to come to Memorial. The application process can be a little bit tricky, so I'm here today to actually help guide you through some of the application steps and some of the pitfalls that you may experience going through the application. The online application is just one part of the whole application process. I'm going to ask for a letter of nomination from your home university, uh, a recent copy of your transcripts, as well as proof of English proficiency where required. But we'll walk through all that now over the next couple of minutes and hopefully uh, it'll be smooth sailing from there on. Alright, the first thing that we need to do is log in to Memorial Self Service. And for that you need an account, so let's get creating. Just click Create Account, it'll send you an email for confirmation and then you'll be able to create your user ID and PIN number. Once logged in, select New Application. If you're here on a course-based exchange, regardless of if you're an undergraduate or graduate student, you're going to want to select Undergrad. Choose your admission term. Remember, at Memorial, we have three terms. Fall, which runs from September to December. Winter, which runs from January to April and spring, which runs from May until August. If you have any questions as to which term you're coming for, contact your coordinator or feel free to email me. Fill out all of these forms. Take your time, there's no rush. There are a few things that get tricky, but don't worry, that's why I'm here. First up is the English proficiency form. If you don't have a TOEFL or IELTS, or even if you have a doubt whether you do or not, click Not Applicable. The coordinator will follow up with you later to provide or ask for further proof if needed. Next up is the Category of Admission form. If you're a visiting student, which means that your university does not have a formal agreement with Memorial University, then you pick Visitor. Otherwise, you want to pick Exchange. You will notice that you'll need a code to proceed. You will receive this code from the coordinator after you've been nominated for an exchange. Fill in this code and then you're pretty much done with this section. For campus and program of study, you're going to want to choose St. John's Campus and then choose option four, other students. Those are the tricky ones with regards to the online application. The rest are pretty self-explanatory. Once you're done, hit submit. And don't forget to send in those additional documents I asked for at the beginning of the presentation. If you have any questions along the way, feel free to reach out to us, international at We look forward to seeing you. Take care.